Here we have a high level question. Geometric series has a negative common ratio. So let's just remember that one. Probably going to need that later. There's a negative common ratio just here. And the sum of the first two terms is six. It's got a negative common ratio. The sum is six. The sum to infinity is eight. Find the common ratio in the first term. So first of all, let's get a couple of things written down. The sum of the first two terms is six, and the sum to infinity is eight. So here's the sum of the first two terms. I've written it as u1 and u1 times r. So that's the second term there. And the sum to infinity, we'll write in a minute, but this is this this one here can be factorized. And also I can now make u1 equals six divided by one plus r. Now the sum to infinity is the other bit here. This is the formula for the sum to infinity, and I know it equals eight. So I can now replace this u1 with this here. So that's what I've done. I've replaced the u1 here with that. Now, if I look at the next screen, I'm going to have that as my equation, and I'm going to do something with that. I'm just going to rearrange that equation by times in both sides by 1 minus r from the bottom, and then times in both sides by 1 plus r, so this one being multiplied both sides. So now I know I can have a fraction here. Now this here will simplify to give me a quadratic equation, 1 minus r squared. And I'm now going to expand the bracket. So I get 8 minus r squared. So I'm going to add 8r squared to both sides. So I get 8r squared. This was 8 here. If I take this 8 away, leaving 0, and I do 6 minus 8, I get 2. And from that, I can have r squared equals 2 divided by 8, or a quarter. And the square root of a quarter is a half. And it's plus and minus a half here, because I did a square root. So now I'm going to go back and refresh my memory from the question. A geometric series has a negative common ratio. So it's not plus a half, it's minus a half. So when I come to the next page, r is minus a half. And from the first page, I had this, the sum to infinity, u1 divided by 1 minus r equals 8. 1 minus the r, which is minus half, is going to give me a 3 over 2 on the bottom. And when I rearrange that, I get 12. And it's as simple as that. Tips to working out this question really are to get started and write down the things that we know. So we know that u1 plus u2 is 6, and we know the sum to infinity is 8. So writing that down as well helps. And then it's a matter of just looking about, it's a sim, uh, simultaneous equation because you've got U1 and R that you don't know, and it's just a matter of working through it and doing the quadratics.